friends, do you wonder what makes a bridge strong or how a bridge is able to carry heavy loads on a daily basis like large trucks, trains, and cars? Well, that is because of engineers. Engineers are people who design and build things, but the civil engineer, they build things for us to use like stadiums, airports, dams, and bridges. They use forces to work together so that these bridges are safe for us to cross over on a daily basis. So what is a bridge? A bridge is a structure that's over a body of water that we can safely travel over. There are a variety of bridges all around the world made of different sizes and different materials. But bridges have three important things that they need to do. They need to be able to carry their own load. That means the weight of the bridge itself. They have to carry the load of whatever is traveling across, whether it's cars or trains. And it has to carry the load of the environment, such as earthquake, strong winds, hurricanes, thunderstorms. Bridges have to be able to withstand all those things. So in order for that to be done, we have engineers civil engineers. They work together so that they can give us a safe place to travel over water. They work together on teams and come up with designs of different types of bridges that can hold heavy loads and their own load. They work together by using force. Two types of forces. One force is compression. Compression force is when it is being pushed in. So this is the force that's going to push in on the structure. Now, they don't just need compression, they need a for another force called tension. Tension is a pulling force. So look at the spring. So now the tension is going to pull where we have compression that's going to push in. And so we need these two forces to work together and balance so that we can have a safe structure on the bridge that we're traveling on. to look at three types of bridges. The first one is the beam bridge. The beam bridge is a simple bridge that has a plank and pillars that hold it up. The beam bridge is the least expensive to make and the simplest to make. Um, it is meant for short distances, not for long distances. The beam bridge works because when there is compression from the cars driving across the bridge, there is compression pushing down. But under the bottom of the railroad or the roadway, there is tension where it is pulling at the same time. So this keeps this bridge safe. It is a very simple bridge. Now, will this hold as much load as another bridge? Well, we're going to test that out. Our next type of bridge is called a truss bridge. A truss bridge is a bridge that is made of a row of triangles that go over and over. And these triangles are connected together so that the wind can go through. But the great thing about the triangles is that they are very strong. When you compress on them, they do not collapse. They allow that if you put them on a beam bridge, it allows that beam bridge to become stronger. So you could have a truss bridge. So let's look at this. I folded a sheet of paper and this is our truss bridge. And if we put it on top, we have those triangles. And when we push, there's that compression. 
And then there's the tension at the bottom working together. Those two forces. And last, our last bridge is called the arch bridge. The arch bridge has been around and probably one of the ones that have been used in centuries and centuries and centuries. The arch bridge is an arch that's between an abutment. So these two books are going to be the base that holds it. With the arch bridge, you have up here at the top the keystone. And at the top of the keystone, then you have the compression pushing on both sides of the arch bridge. That's how this bridge works. And so this bridge is a strong bridge also. But is it stronger than our beam bridge or our truss bridge? Let's find out and see which bridge can hold a heavy load. Explore. Let's see which bridge will hold the most pennies. First we have our arch bridge. So I'm just going to take some pennies and put on here carefully. You can already see oh, that it bent and collapsed quickly and I only used two eight pennies. All right, let's try the beam bridge next. So we can put this one just a little bit closer. Let's try the beam bridge. But how many pennies do you think the beam bridge will hold? And we don't want to put the pennies on the books. That was a nickel I put on there. All right, let's see. So 10 pennies and a nickel. All right, now we're going to try the truss. The truss bridge, let's see if it's stronger or not. Oops. So I'm at 42, so I'm going to stop there. And the only reason why these spilled is because this flap is open on the side and I kept putting them there. So 42. So, wow guys. So the truss bridge is actually a very strong bridge. And there's one more bridge we did not talk about called the suspension bridge. And the suspension bridge has cables that holds it up where the roadway, as it's going through, those cables hold up the bridge. And that's where the tension comes in on the cables where it's pulling. And then you have the compression when it's pushing. And so that bridge is a safe bridge. It does cost the most to build. And that particular bridge can go long distances, meaning that you can build it across long waterways compared to the beam bridge. All right, 
So I have a challenge for you. Your challenge is that you're going to take two of these type of bridges and come up with your own design to see if your bridge can hold a hundred pennies. Design by drawing the bridge that you would like to try. You could add the truss to it. You could do the arch. You could add pillars. However you decide. And then you're going to get some simple materials such as paper and books. And that will be it. And make your bridge. Then you will test to see if it can hold 100 pennies. Are you up for the challenge? When you complete this challenge, I want you to leave me a comment and let me know if your bridge withheld 100 pennies or not. There are many engineers who have designed bridges like the Golden Gate Bridge across America. There's one African-American engineer named Horace King, born in 1807 into slavery in South Carolina. Horace King is famous for engineering and designing bridges in Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia. Mr. King not only was an engineer, he was also an architecture. That means that he could design and build buildings. One of the most famous things that he designed is the staircase that is located in Montgomery, Alabama Capitol Building. It is a beautiful staircase and it is designed unique that it looks like a spiral. I have walked those stairs a few times when I have taken my students on trips there. That is one place that you would like to see. He was also hired to oversee and to make sure the dome at the Capitol was constructed correctly also. If you want to know more about Horace King, then look him up. He is an interesting man to read about. Well, I am so glad you joined me today and learned about bridges. But most of all, I hope that you take the bridge cha challenge and that you will design a bridge made of paper and see if it can hold 100 pennies. Remember to leave me a comment and let me know the outcomes.